and phylum is the mollusca so why we called mollusca mollusk means soft body so mollusk means what you will say mollusk means they have the soft body but but this soft body is covered with the calcareous shell so this soft body is covered with the calcareous shell so this is called the mollusk mollusk means soft body this is the second large second largest animal phylum and first largest animal phylum that is the arthropoda second largest mollusca and third largest protozoa so here this is the second largest animal phylum mollusca are terrestrial animal aquatic and some are marine it means some are the terrestrial means which uh, those uh, which living uh, lives on the earth surface land and or aquatic some are the aquatic and here aquatic may be marine or fresh water so fresh water example is the phyla globusa so phyla globusa is the scientific name phyla globusa is the scientific name commonly known as the apple snail so if you will check so their body is covered by a calcareous shell their body is covered by a calcareous shell and calcareous shell is made up of the calcium carbonate calcareous shell is made up of the calcium carbonate okay and uh, this is called the exoskeleton so some have uh, this is called the uh, skeleton this is shells so sometimes cell present outside the body sometimes present uh, cell inside the body and sometimes uh, they have no cell if you will check the example if you will check the example so it have given the number of example in case of the apple snail so they have the calcareous calcareous cell outside the body if you will check the uh, cpia cpia that is the cpia cp so it have the cpia it have the it have also calcareous cell but inside the body okay and octopus octopus they don't have the calcareous cell okay so body is covered by a calcareous cells and it is unsegmented with a distinct head muscular foot and visceral seams it means you can say their body is the covered by calcareous cells and this calcareous cell is made up of the calcium carbonate where it found it found in case of the uh, outside the body in case of the apple snail or phyla globusa inside the body that is the cpia inside the body that is the cpia and uh, they don't have the any type of this calcareous cell example is the octopus and next point so if you read so their body parts their body parts divided into three different region head muscular foot and visceral hump so their body part divided into three different region head muscular head muscular foot and visceral hump next point a soft spongy layer of skin forms mantle or visceral hump so they also forms the mantle 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 means a cavity a cavity uh, sorry a cover they forms a cover over the visceral hump at the place of visceral hump visceral hump this forms a soft mantle cover okay next the space between hump and the mantle the space between hump and the mantle is called the uh, the space between hump and mantle is called the mantle cavity and these mantle cavity have the feeder these mantle cavity have the gills and these gills is the feeder like they have the mantle cavity which have the gills and these gills are the feeder like they have the respiratory and excretory function they have the respiratory so these gills these gills function performed as respiration as well as excretion and one thing also they have the kidney and this kidney also known as the organ of bojanus in case of the mollusca they have the excretory function kidney and this kidney also known as the organ of bojanus so here they have given the number of examples if you see so first is the dental dentalium chiton octopus and limnia land snail pearl oyster sepia and unio clear so one thing also you know about the uh, interesting story of the octopus octopus if you check the mollusk so mollusk their body color their blood color their blood color is the blue in color so their blood color is the blue in color why because they have the pigment which is known as the hemocyanin and one time they already asked in the kbc uh, question uh, amitabh bachchan they already asked uh, so uh, those which animals they have the blue color blood so octopus means arthropods mostly they have the blue color blood 
and octopus one time also famous but octopus one time also was famous during the 2014 fifa world cup that time on fall baba octopus also known as the devil fish so that time fall baba they have and that time uh, this octopus was very famous so next point if you will read the space between hump and the mental cavity is called the uh, the mental and hump is called mental cavity and these are provided with the gills and gills function involves in the respiratory and excretory function so these gills these gills involves in the respiratory and excretory function next point anterior head regions they have the sensory tentacles because you know mollusk they have the some sensory organs which is known as the tentacles okay and the mouth contain a file like resting organ this is the characteristic feature of the mollusca the mouth like uh, mouth contains file like resting resp organ which is known as the redula so this redula act as a teeth this redula act as a teeth clear they are usually dioecious i uh, mean sex separated oviparous with indirect development with indirect development so larva named is the trochophore like annelids they have the larva named as the trochophore one uh, one and uh, neoplina neoplina considered as a connecting link between the annelida and the mollusca if you will see the example so here they have given the number of examples so first is the phyla which is apple snail pink tada pearl oyster sepia cuttlefish loligo squid octopus devil fish aplysia sea hare dentalium tusk cell and kitopleura chiton so they have given the number of example and i had already told so in your exam so it generally ask the some characters or some examples so how you learn so i have given some short trick by which you can learn ppo uh, pplo pplo you know very well this is also known as the pplo also known as the pleuro pneumonia like organism so pleuro pneumonia like organism and it is also considered as a joker of the plant kingdom because this have the no cell wall it is a like bacterial microorganism like bacteria but they don't have the cell wall and it is the smallest microorganism it is the smallest microorganism so pplo pplo cause severe disease to angel pplo cause severe disease to angel angel one person and uh, he uh, they are they are suffering from the pplo so pplo cause severe disease to angel example p stands for phyla p stands for pink tada l stands for loligo o stands for octopus pplo phyla pink tada loligo octopus c stands for c stands kaj kaj stands for kitopleura cbr means sepia disease means dentalium and angel angel means aplysia so this is the short trick and uh, by which you can learn very sharply okay so this is the story of mollusk so now we are uh, i am going to discuss next phylum and the name of phylum is the echinodermata 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 means ek, uh, their echinus means skin and derm means body echinus means skin and derm means body so their body have the body have the spiny skin their body have the spiny skin these animals have the endoskeleton so these animals have endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles they have the calcareous ossicles and hence the name echinodermata is spiny body echinodermata means spiny body all are marine they are marine and one thing i had already ta uh, talked about that i have talked about that because they have the some specific characters they have some specific character water vascular system water canal system and water vascular system water canal system found in case of the found in case of the porifera but here in case of the echinodermata it have the water vascular system clear if you we'll read the next sentence the echinoderms are radially symmetrical their body have the radially symmetrical i had already told three things cce cce means cylindrata tinophora and echinodermata adult they show the radially symmetrical but their larva but their larva that is the bipinnaria but their larva that is the bipinnaria we show this type of symmetry that show the lateral symmetry but larvae are bilateral symmetry this statements are given okay and one also very characteristics important thing about the coelom so from echinodermata they have the true coelom 
true silom is they have the introcilic silom that is deuterostomic silom and deuterostomic silom is do you know very well during the embryonic development blastopore during the embryonic development blastopores develops and firstly it form the anus then mouth this is called the deuterostomic silom so from echinodermata to pardeta they have the deuterostomic silom okay and before the echinodermata they have the cygocilic silom which is also known as the uh, protostomic silom which is known as the protostomic silom digestive system is complete means both uh, uh, they have the two four anus as well as mouth so mouth is located toward the ventral region that is oral side and anus on the dorsal side that is ab oral region that is ab oral region one more also distinctive feature which is known as the water vascular system so they have the water vascular system and these water vascular system helps in the locomotion capture of the prey and transport of the gases clear the basic function of this water vascular system so it have the two to three function perform okay so first if we'll check so they have the uh, water vascular system locomotion phenomenon it involves in the locomotion phenomenon capture the prey and transport of the food and respiration so it involves in the transport of the food and respiration so this is the very important characteristics of the phylum echinodermata and one thing uh, you know uh, one thing also phenomenon autotomy autotomy a type of regeneration property which is also found in the uh, this echinoderms okay so echinoderms show such type of the autotomy that is the regeneration property and the larva of echinoderms which is known as the bipinnaria bipinnaria they have the larva and excretory system and excretory system absent one thing also if we we'll check the example so sea urchin sea urchin they have the one important organ which is known as the aristotel lalten aristotel lalten this is relevant to the digestive system it helps in the mastication process aristotel lalten so it also found in case of the echinodermata if we we'll check their example so it have given the number of example so development is indirect i had already talked with free swimming larva bipinnaria and free swimming larva they have the similarity with the chordates bipinnaria larva they have the similarity with the chordates example example you can see here they have given the example okay if you will see the example so what they have given uh, asteria starfish echinus sea urchin and antidon sea lily cucumeria sea cucumber and ophiura brittle star ophiura which is considered as a brittle star so these are the example of echinoderms clear echinoderms means spiny body clear they have the main characteristics that is the water vascular system okay so short trick i have given the some short trick and uh, by which you can learn very easy so excel coaching option always excellent uh, uh, because i am teaching here so i will say this is option i is always excellent okay so excel excel stands for asterias and coaching coaching that is the cucumeria and ophiura antidon and echinus ophiura that is the option antidon always echinus excellent clear so excel coaching option are always excellent okay so this is the short trick next phylum so next phylum what i have given next phylum they have given the hemichordata hemichordata this phylum previously means earlier they placed in the chordata this phylum earlier placed in the chordata but on the basis of dna sequence now they put into the under the phylum uh, sorry under the non chordata clear now uh, under the non chordata they have the separate phylum so it have the separate phylum under non chordata clear this phylum consists a small group of worm like marine animals with the organ system level of organization clear so these are the mer worm worm like marine animal clear worm like marine animal if we'll check their body so their body have divided into three different region proboscis collar and trunk proboscis collar and trunk at the collar region they have the some special type of rudimentary structure which is known as the stomochord and these stomochord have similarity to like notochord clear these have the similarity to like notochord clear why we called hemichordata 
because they have the some characters of the chordates which have the some characters of the chordates so due to this we are saying about the hemichordata so if we'll check so they have given the next uh, characteristics so next characteristic the body is cylindrical body is cylindrical and composed of anterior proboscis collar and a long trunk means i had already told body is divided into three digit region body proboscis collar and this is the trunk proboscis collar and trunk clear so their body have into three different region respiration takes place respiration takes place through the gills and excretory organ is proboscis excretory organ here is proboscis gland the body is cylindrical and is composed of an anterior proboscis collar and a long trunk i have discussed okay so example example you can see balenoglossus and psychoglossus clear so balenoglossus and psychoglossus so these have given the example okay so now your class is going to finish and i think you are getting uh, very good and thank you for their patience and cooperation